Here we go with the Trademo Show, today with Batin and Sebastian. Today with a special topic, beginner trading and investing questions. So Batin is doing an internship at the moment at Trademo and um, yeah, I just thought it could be a good idea to share his questions that he has at the beginning of his trading career so that others can maybe find the answers that they have been secretly asking themselves. Yeah, um, so uh, I'm Batin, 18 years old, just started my internship here at Tradimo. And yeah, like in the past, I, I had to do a little bit with uh, trading, investing, economics and so on, but never really got in touch with it. So um, it's probably a perfect time for me to learn a bit about it. And I thought that me as a young person, uh, I had like really, really many questions and maybe some others have them too. And um, maybe you could answer them and uh, others will know the answer too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what, what is it that you're asking yourself at the beginning? Yeah, so something that probably everybody is asking himself, like when he sees these advertisements, um, the trading or trading seems to be like the source of unlimited money, but um, is it hard to get like money out of trading or is it like they say, like you can get millions out of it or is it like you have to really be passionate about it and learn? Or how is it actually? So, yeah, there are different approaches to that. Uh, overall, there's always work involved when somebody wants to make money. Um, but, there, but it depends on how you want to go about it. You can do a passive investing style where you will probably get between 4 and 8% per year on average. Yeah? Sometimes you will have a minus 20% year, other years will be maybe plus 12%, but on average you will have between 4 and 8%. And even with that you can make a lot of money. So here I have a calculator. Uh, if we say your average return per year is 5%, and you start with 1,000 euros or $1,000 and you m save 100 euros per month. And after 40 years, even just with this 5% return, this would be 156,000 euros almost. Yeah, and that so sounds really good, actually. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah, times 150 your money uh, yeah. or basically at times 100. So if you over 40 years always put in 100 euros per month, that's 49,000 euros in total that you put in over those 40 years. But um, through this 5% return, that's where you get 107,000 euros almost over that time. And that's already incredible. That's basically without doing much effort at all. Mm -hmm. But if you um, if you want to make more money than that, then you have to really learn about trading and investing and have a bit more active style. Um, and then I would say a return of 15% could be possible on, on okay. average. Yeah? Um, and then you would have 2.5 million euros after those 40 years. <laughs> okay, so that's the, really so really the difference is big, but in any case, it's worth starting. Uh, yeah. So whether you then in the end realize that you don't have the passion for it, then you can still go for this passive uh, conservative investing style and aim for those 5% per year and still you're going to make 100,000 euros from that over your life or just over 40 years. Yeah, In your case, that is still, that's only half your life. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and in, in the case of a more ambitious approach, if you end up being a multimillionaire big from starting with a thousand euros, I mean, that's a, that's a really, really great result. So here, uh, just for all the people who've been watching, here's the capital curve that you would have uh, over those 40 years. If you start with 1,000 euros, invest 100 euros per month and have a return of 15% per year. And the same if you invest uh, more conservatively and have a 5% return per year, then you have this curve here and you end up with 155,900. Okay, yeah. so um, well, that sounds really good. But it's like, how do I really start, or what can I do to get started? Because like, there, if I just search for trading in Google, there's like a million of different ways to approach it. But what is like the best thing for beginners to start with? Yeah, um, basically, the reason why you find so many answers here is because um, the the basic wisdom is explained fairly easily, and at the same time banks and brokers, they're really looking for new clients all the time. 
and um, they pay a lot of money for getting new clients. And so even people who don't know a lot are sharing knowledge or creating blogs and so on. And so there's a lot of competition for knowledge here. But it's very hard as, as a beginner to figure out what's good information and what is bad information. That's one of the reasons why we've created Tridemo. So we have a, a platform where anybody can add financial knowledge. I mean, we then check the quality and uh, upload it on the site, or basically we then approve it. So everybody can upload it, but not everything becomes visible on the website. And then uh, everybody can rate the content. So here you can see our technical analysis course has been rated with 4.8 out of 5 and uh, 1,325 students have gone through this course already. Yeah? So this is not just people who have clicked on it, but people who have really signed up and gone through this course. Yeah? And um, the same with many others uh, of, our, of our content here. And there's also uh, not only Tredimo, but also content from other experts. Yeah, and basically this is, uh, I think, what's important as a beginner, that you have this, um, yeah, this filter for quality, what is good quality, what is bad quality. And then what we have designed is, well, there's all of these courses now. The question is, how do you go through them in the best way? And that's when you click on premium. Then on our website, you have the option to basically book a monthly package with us. And then you pay nine euros or nine dollars per month. And we make a plan for you that brings you from knowing nothing to being an advanced trader and investor. Yeah. Okay, I see. So. Um, for example, what would be like the course that you would recommend for a beginner like me, like the mm -hmm. first thing that you should learn? The first thing um, I would start with um, here, learn the basics of the stock market, um, technical analysis or basics course here. And also uh, we have courses on money management and on Forex trading basics. I would uh, learn all of those and also our Forex beginner strategy. Those are like the recommended courses that I would look at in the beginning and then I would work my way through the rest of the content or ask uh, or basically buy this um, newcomer package. And there's also ways to get this newcomer or even our dedication package for free um, because like I said, banks and brokers are always looking for new customers and so we have created this page here, learn.redeemer.com slash start minus trading. And there um, we have brokers for beginners, for advanced um, traders, and for professional traders. And at each step, basically, we um, have a broker. And this broker, if you open your account through our website, then you get a special benefit. So we give you, for example, this newcomer package for free. Okay, so I could like um, just, if I want to start trading, open an account for broker, deposit mm -hmm. some money and maybe trade with it and yeah. then there would be like all of your future uh, features included with that right exactly yeah so okay. um, and there's another benefit so basically when you use your normal bank for trading it's going to be very expensive so when you mm -hmm. start as in, in in your at your age you probably start with something from 100 euros to 1000 euros mm -hmm. and um you need a lot of your savings also for paying university housing and trips and so on. Um, yeah. So probably you start with a low amount and then when you go to your normal bank, you maybe pay 10 euros per trade. And that's mm -hmm. then a problem because that means you can't invest the $100 in an easy way. I mean, you can go for right. a long-term savings plan or ETF investing where you then get this 5 to 10% return per year when we looked at the curve earlier. But if you want more than that, it's good to start practicing with little money um, the more active approach. I mean, don't be too active either. Like trading too much is a sure way to lose money. Mm -hmm. um, but when you, when you do this intermediate approach where you are a bit more active, um, that's where the opportunity really is great. And that's where when you use such a broker here, you pay, for example, here 20 cents per trade. And um, at your bank, probably it would be 10, $10 or 10 euros. And that's then the 10 euros would already take 10% of your account that of, or of your monthly saving. And so that's not a good idea to do. But if you take this kind of broker here, then it's possible to just for example, you can just buy one share of Facebook and it will cost you 20 cents and then you will have the you will participate in when those prices go up. 
Okay, I see. So um, as a teenager or a youngster like me, um, who has like probably around 100 euros left at the end of the month, um, there is a possibility to use these 100 euros to earn more money with it, with it yeah. right? Yeah, oh, and basically the the most important aspect at that age, however, is the learning. So when you really, I, I would see that almost as um, a practice account, even if you use 100 re real euros with it, um, because the, um, the most important aspect is really to master your own psychology and to put the learning into practice. And then even if you're not immediately successful, it's the right investment basically into your learning. Okay, um, I see. Um, maybe one more question that is a bit personal. Um, for me, like uh, if I hear, uh, hear from others, um, they say, yeah, trading is really cool, but what is your learning that you have uh, gotten through the years of trading? Yeah, um, basically in, yeah, in the beginning, um, I was a bit too euphoric, so I, mm. I just traded too much. I was um, jumping on every opportunity that I saw. And um, later, um, my, my biggest problem was um, basically to um, rein in my own psychology after being successful. Mm -hmm. So let's say I would earn with a successful trade, like my best trade ever, I made 50,000 euros with one trade. And um, then I lost it again when I became too, yeah, too convinced of myself. And then basically the reason I made those 50,000 euros was because I, I saw an opportunity and I traded it aggressively and it, it went well. And that's, that's what you should do when you see a really clear opportunity. Uh, it's okay to go in with more risk. But you have to remember to stop trading with the big risk afterwards. If you then afterwards think that you're the hero of the world and nothing, like you are just better than the market and you will find the opportunities wherever they are, uh, that's just not how it works. Basically, the, it's tough to make money in the market and it's tough to make a lot of money quickly. And when you think it will always go on that way and you don't reduce your risk after um, basically when you see a once in a lifetime opportunity, that kind of thing, and you go in more aggressively, then afterwards you have to also remember to reduce the risk again. And that's something that I always find difficult because it's easy to become overconfident, for me at least, it's, it's kind of my psychological problem that I have discovered through trading. Okay, like so you would that say that... I'm really good and when really um, I have identified a good opportunity, I took advantage of it, but it doesn't mean that I'm the best trader in the world and that I can find the same thing the next week again. Yeah. Okay, I see. So you would say that trading is like also a psychological thing and that you can learn a lot about yourself. Yeah, and, definitely. Um, okay, yeah, sounds really cool. I guess um, there's always something that newcomers uh, want to know. But um, yeah, yeah, I think if you answered like all the basic questions for me, uh, the beginners. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Thanks. If there's if there's more questions um, and anybody that's been watching has those questions, just send them to us at support at tradingmo.com or post them as a comment under the video. And um, Bettine will filter those. And um, yeah, then if there are enough questions, we'll do another show where we answer those questions as well. Yeah, sounds really good. Great. It's been a pleasure. Then see yeah, you tomorrow you again, everyone. See you. See you. Bye. Bye.